you to the uh, AM Rotary for allowing me to be here today to share an update uh, about what we're doing here in your community. And I couldn't be more excited. It's, it's so true. And uh, you know, to be able to have the chance to start a medical school, to be able to do it in your hometown, uh, you know, is quite something. And uh, I really appreciate the fact that you all were clapping and giving me such a warm welcome, given the fact that you know, I grew up in Bexley. Uh, I currently live with the New Albany Post Office, and yet here in Dublin, you're more than welcome to, uh, or more than gracious enough to welcome me here. So I do appreciate that. Uh, but I think I'm an example, and I don't like to talk about myself much, but an example of what it is that we're trying to do here in Dublin. We are trying to bring young men and women who have a connection to Central Ohio, you know, whether they were born and raised here, uh, as I was, or whether they came in and went to college uh, here. To bring them back to do medical school, you know, to get a leg up on residency programs, and ultimately the goal is for these young men and women to stay in the Central Ohio community to practice, because that's what our <coughs> mission is all about. Uh, do we have any bobcats in the room? Wow! Excellent. Way to go. Nice. Uh, <laughs> I heard a small cat squeal. Uh, but again, we are so proud to be able to take what we have developed in Athens. Again, the first land grant institution in the Ohio Territories uh, started in 1804. Our medical school started in 1975, and uh, you know, it took a while. Actually, uh, it was the founder's idea in the beginning, in 1804, to have a medical school. It just took us a little while to make that happen. Uh, but Athens is a beautiful community, uh, and I look at that picture, and you know, then I also think about what we're doing here in Dublin. You know, lots of green, lots of trees. You know, the bike paths, the walkways. You know, I think this is going to be an incredible place for these young men and women uh, to study. Uh, you know, again, I think that the mission of the college and the mission of the university, of course, is to be taking physician or taking people from Ohio and then keeping them here. And I want to share a little bit about that with you as well. This is a, some information about our alumni. And over 60% of the graduates of our college practice in the state of Ohio. And I think that is tops among all the <coughs> medical schools in this state. And in addition, uh, another thing that's tops in the medical school in this state is the fact that 52% of our graduates are going into primary care. As narrowly defined as just family medicine, general internal medicine, and pediatrics. Uh, sometimes you'll see OB and others put into that mix and we'd be even higher there. Uh, and according to the U.S. News and World Report, in 2013, we were 11th in the development of primary care physicians in the nation, and 17th in those that graduated and went into family medicine in the nation. Uh, a lot of folks don't know about what goes on in Athens. It's a little further removed, although not quite as far as it was now that we've got the Nelsonville bypass completed. For those of you who are Bobcats and who had to drive down there, it does cut off a little bit of time. But there's a tremendous amount of research going on, and, and one of the, uh, the most prolific researchers at the university is actually a member of the college's faculty, Dr. John Kopchik. And John was, uh, he's a molecular biologist and was developing and working on some, some different chemicals. He was not actually looking to develop what happened here, but oftentimes in science, as you're doing one thing, something else happens. And what he found was that a compound that he gave a mouse, and again, this, this normal mouse you see uh, here, uh, he gave it this compound, and the mouse got smaller. And what he found was that this mouse and this chemical was a growth hormone <coughs> antagonist, meaning that it worked against growth hormone and there is a, a medical condition called acromegaly. I don't know if any of you know, but uh, Andre the Giant, for those of you who are old enough to remember Andre, uh, again, was somebody that suffered from acromegaly. And this is the only drug that's approved in the USA and Europe for the treatment of this disease. It has brought the university a tremendous amount of money. And believe it or not, if I'd had to ask you the question, I doubt many of you would have said that Ohio University was the number one school in the state bringing back an ROI based on their research. But that is indeed true. I was showing this to my kids last night, and they said, Dad, you can't just do a PowerPoint. You've got to have some animation. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. that's my room. There we are. 